Hello. Whoa, I have 55 minutes left of recording on my phone. Hey, Comet. So, uh, let's see where I can put this. I can probably do that right there or something. What's up? Remember in my older videos when I used to, you know, cook all these elaborate things like avocado spread, bacon, and all these, like, clip peppers onto, and toast some bread. It would take, like, 30 minutes to an hour just to make this thing. It's like, it's healthy. But then it just, it was good, and I put, like, spinach in it. But then it, like, really wasn't. I mean, it was, it was, but it just took so long to make, and there'd be a lot of days where I'm like, I'm not in the mood for, like, making this. Because it takes so long. But my health. And now I'm to the point where I'm like, well, I'm actually not making the most healthiest de decisions. But I'm trying my best to think of ways to just switch out things. And just make it easy. Like, the smoothie, great idea. Smoothie is a good idea, but that's not an everyday thing. Hey, Comet. So, only recently have I thought of the idea of, like, some kind of spinach... spinach sandwich, like, you know, two pieces of bread and some other things in there. Like, and meat, greens, and, I don't know, some kind of spread. Yeah. Avocado. I have, like, avocado and spinach in the house. That can be, like, a regular thing. It's good for you. And then, uh, yeah, like, make it easy. Like, I put too much on it. It would just take too long. It would just take too long. There's something about it. I forget what step or what I would put on it. But, like, spinach, I could just take the... Just go, like, toast the bread for, like, a little bit. Start with that. Put the leaves down. Just take the stems off. Put that on. You know... I don't know. Maybe I was just really slow back then. I think I, there's something else I'd make with it. Yeah, that doesn't seem like an everyday thing. And putting bacon on uncooked is just uh, not my thing. But one, uh, I'm not sure if I recorded yet today. No. So, last night I had the energy drink. I felt all kinds of messed up. I felt all kinds of messed up. Ooh, my face got red there for a second. I was just all kinds of messed up. Let me uh, put this into sleep mode. Like, I got back and I had half of it and I was thinking like, uh, maybe I'll finish it, wait it off. My heart is just like, duh, 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 duh. and I was sweating and I'm like, uh, Joey, I just getting shaky. I need to start moving. I can't be sitting down and doing nothing with this. I need to use this energy. And I think I'm gonna make up my bed or do, make it neat before I go, but yeah, and he's like, okay. So I brought my water bottle, brought my phone in my pocket, just in case something bad happened. I had a phone, like, you know, with my chest. And I had my PJs on and all that good stuff. And a, a thin long sleeve that I was wearing when I woke up. Let me have a sip. 
Seems like there's a little breeze. So I think I'm going to go to Las Olas today. I'm craving Las Olas. The taco place. Sorry. Listen to some good talk. I was listening I listened to an album this morning. I woke up, you know, six. It was like approaching six thirty. So this is what happened. Finally got to lay down three thirty. My brain's going crazy, like, oh stress. Oh I'm fucking angry. I wish I didn't drink this. I just stressful shift. Oh uh, I'm getting acne, I'm I'm like getting chest pains, not only, I had chest pains before this thing, but, yeah. I'm jumping all over the place. So I went around the block, I kind of put some speed to it, <laughs> drink some water. This wasn't touched at all. I brought to work, I, I might have sat down, like, had a sip in my car, drove to work. But other than that, I did not have a sip, so I, you know, most of this was full. You know, a sip was taken out, too. Sip, two sips, you know, whatever. It's on video when I drove to work yesterday. And then I get home, I'm like, and I go for a walk, and this is all full. And so I'm like, like okay, drink some water, drink some water, going for a walk. By the time I get back, it is this. And whatever you just saw me drink. I mean, if you put back what I just drank on camera, that's all that's left is like this. I drink that on a walk like 12 minutes or less because it's with the pace I go around the block like this it's like 12 and a half minutes just, just a slow pace no I was like going like that like this you know just really fast I can't show it in my room but I was going fast and I drank most of this and I was like whoa and like and then I remember the walk I was just party and I felt like not just the water go down but as I was walking in the door after drinking half of that drink I felt like stuff rushing out like I'm gonna it's flushing out my system I'm burping and farting a lot even especially in the middle of playing Minecraft with Joey Minecraft sorry I was just lifted the bed for a moment it was just hell I was hurting I was sweating I was in pain even after the walk then when I got back, talking fast, I was playing Minecraft, and I started getting like dizzy and vertigo, like, I'll like run Minecraft, and then I would stop, and I'd feel like I would continue moving, I was like, whoa, what is happening? It was all fucked. This drink just fucked me up. It's like having two cups of coffee since I had the half of it, sorry, like three quarters of it, so it's like... Three cups of coffee. Highly caffeinated, highly sugary. Once again, nothing in people need that. I know it's not sugary, but man, it has those uh, the correct mix of everything to make you awake, going, going, going. Then there was this morning, I heard my dad getting ready for work, just some footsteps. I'd go in and out of sleep. Then my brain started to be active. At this point, I am fully aware that I'm laying in my bed, I'm awake. It's early, because I hear my dad getting ready for work, so it's somewhere between 4.30 and 5.30. But I'm like, oh no, I can sleep for like four or five more hours. That, that I did the math quickly, it was like 3.30, 5.30. I only slept for two hours. And that's exactly what I did. I only slept for... Two hours. I only slept for two hours. If I said that correctly the first time. I only slept for two hours. And I there's part of me that felt really awake. Like I still had that in my system. I thought I crashed at 3.30. So I had that around, the drink around 9.30. So 
my brain started going, like, freaking out about work that I didn't have today, but I was thinking, and so I started having this, like, hallucination kind of thing in my brain, where my brain just threw visuals at me as if I was actually doing something. I was actually awake. But at, like, 50-50, it's like, my brain's like, you're doing something, you're busy, you're work, 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 Keep, you're supposed to be working. And then the other half is like, no, but you're just laying in your bed. Go back to sleep, but get back to work. And so I started having these visuals, like, and it was colorful and vivid. And so half my brain's like, you're this way, you're laying sideways, and you're laying in your bed and you're sleeping, and you should sleep some more, because you need sleep. The other half of me is like, continue the laminations in the copy center. So I start having this like, like this. It felt like I was just doing this. Like literally, like I was just swinging around as I was visualizing myself doing the laminations, putting it through a machine. And it became, in the visualization, it became very vivid and colorful. And so as I was finishing up this what I remember is 11 by 17 laminates, which I didn't do last night. I saw some. I saw some already done at work, but I don't didn't do any last night. I printed some 11 by 17s, but didn't do any lamination. But my brain's like, do those laminates, get back to bed. You're standing up, you're sitting, you're laying down, going between all those. And I was getting stressed. My brain was going through some stress. At 5.30 a.m., when my dad just left, I heard it. I did the math, and my brain was start just within seconds start going through the stress. And that part of me was like, wait, do I work today? Oh my gosh, all this work. But then the visual aid visualization was still going on, and a part of me thought, this is still because of the energy drink, and the visual visualization, um, sorry, I just got a message from the other person that got this drink, the one that I gave the other drink, and he was fine with it, and didn't drink the whole thing, but, um, so, I was doing the lambing as I was putting them down, like, there, I saw these weird puzzle pieces branch out from it, like, uh, let's say this blanket was it, so I just put it down, and there'd be, like, this, like, thing about tree branches, instead of branches, they were, like, puzzle pieces that were, like, whoop, and whoop, and whoop, or, like, the symmetrical, every other, like, just the corner of the puzzle pieces were touching, and they're actual puzzle pieces. This is what I was visualiz visualizing in my brain this morning from the stress of my brain being on two different paths. Hold on. I thought I heard the phone. So it was like that. Every time I put down that, it's like puzzle piece, puzzle piece. Then it was like rainbow, like a rainbow. Everything would get really colorful and vibrant, and my brain was like, whoa, like, it was like, it was crazy, and the best way I could think of it is like a, like a, hol like, Pokemon holographic card, or a Magic the Gathering foil, which, once again, I didn't look at that, I don't have any, yeah, I don't, well, I have one, uh, that I can only think of, uh, but still, I, how did that connection come to be? And it was just like, I remember seeing that and being like, whoa, and I was like, I'm dreaming. Nope, get back to laminations, get back to work, you're standing, you're sitting, you're laying down, get back to sleep, you need more sleep. And that was, was in then at the same time, I felt like my head was being whipped around. And that was stressful, everything was stressful. And this is what my brain was experiencing at 5.30 a.m. And there's a part of me that's like, it was tiring, but 
I was being woken up by it, and I'm like, I think I need to stand up. And then it hit me. Last night, when I had that, the only kind of thing that was in my stomach was the apple slices, granola bar, and butterscotch pudding I had back with me for lunch. And there's a big gap from that to the energy drink and then all through sleep. I was starving. I felt it. My stomach started making like noises constantly, pain. I felt it just bruised. I was like, I'm so hungry. I think I recall feeling hungry before I went to bed, really hungry. But then I thought, don't eat stuff before bed that's not good for you. Wait until the morning. A little side note to myself. Eat in the morning. So I was like, just laying there. Like, Maybe I can try to go back to bed. Because I was doing that, just like the, the whole visualization that I was having was gone. It was gone. I was just thinking about work. I was like, do I work? Uh, like I remember looking at the schedule a good 20 times to confirm today's my day off. So far, no one's called to be like, hey, where are you? So, I, that worked out. But. I think it's. my phone's right there. I was like, where's my phone? Um, yeah. So that is what my brain went through. I got up at 6. Eventually I looked at my phone, checked my phone. That all happened all right here. Got up and I'm like, I'm hungry. I quietly got up. I did what I'm doing right now. Hold on. Did I hear my mother pull into the driveway? No. I'm actually gonna shut this window. But yeah, I kind of quietly walked out, and I was like, okay, my brother's sleeping. And like, the sunlight was coming in, like, through, this is my dad's room. My room, and my dad. Construction going on down the street. But, um, yeah, the sunlight was coming in as I come down the hallway. There was Comet being all lovey-dovey, and I come out, and there he is right now. And he looked like he got a hairball, and so I went to clean that up before I greeted him with my presence. Nothing against you, Comet. You're getting old. You eat too fast. Maybe a bit too much. Maybe, uh, mom's feeding you too many treats, but, uh, you got to go out this morning. I get up. I have some cereal. I sit down at my desk, or at my computer. Uh, watching the rest of the grumps that I didn't get to last night. So I got home and watched one Grumps. They played the new Extreme Volleyball, uh, Dead or Alive Volleyball. And, um, and that was that. That was a quick episode. And so then I hopped. That's, that's when I got on Skype. And then that's where I started feeling full effects. All I can say is that my life. I just brought a story. Okay, I don't want too much of a crazy cross breeze. Well, I'm gone. But hey, Comet. I need to go to the bank. I need to, uh... All I can say is that my law is pretty strange. There's some of the new neighbors already.
else can I do before I go? I lock the thing so it doesn't... Someone's measuring something. Okay. see if I can do this one-handed. Dirty clothes, bring them down. I think the garage door is shut. 20 minutes, wow. But yeah, I'm gonna go to the bank. I'm gonna park at the big parking lot. What is that? That is part of the vacuum. That scared me. Nice. I'm gonna put a bag there so I can't access a thing. Dryer. The dryer is still messed up. Of course, we all like to blame Craig because when he's the last one to use it, I mean, there's really no trust with him. All trust is broken, probably since junior year when he, you know, started to lie like every other sentence. It wasn't me, it wasn't me. All evidence point to you. Just admit it. Nope with a big smile on his face. Hey y'all, hey y'all. Hey kitty cat, hey kitty cat. Garage door's closed. I'm really hungry. I'm gonna have a taco. And uh There's my brother's bike just sitting there, but you know what? No one's gonna steal anything, right? Right? In bank. Oh, I'm so fucking hungry. Today I want to clean my closet. That's the right key. Let's get these sunglasses. I'd rather be. <laughs> yeah. That's a. That's a good way to figure out the continuity from my ride home from work. I did scream really loud, but only because I'm angry about the fucking stupid drivers. You know what? Let me plug in my phone. Got my 
wallet. Oh, man. Hey, Blue Jay. It's a nice day. A bit warm, but too warm. Watched it play in the collection vision. I could see it all. Shape. Yeah, I went from oh, I hate driving now because my my the wheels like to pull because the alignment's all fucked. Oh man, a oh, nice place to put your car. I'll try to avoid this road on the way back. Ooh, you went the wrong way. No. I'll take High Street home. Ooh, hey, Breeze. I hate driving now. I just hate it. I got problems now. Like, damn, wind. It's a good thing I'm just staying in town. parking lot ever. You got cars parked over here. Only one car can fit through here, but they put a line in the middle to show that, yeah, you can fit two cars here, right? Wink, wink. All right, same right here. You can fit a car and a half. The, um, the width of like a car and a half there. You got people, horrible park jobs. Yeah, horrible park job. I wish I can totally fit my car there. Instead, I'm gonna do this. I'm at the bank. And here I am. I'm not going to record this. I have 25 minutes left, but for now, peace.